everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful day oh my goodness salt's face covers my character oh my goodness <laughs> um so today the new icelandic horses came out and so the updated icelandics have ice landed that that's kind of that's very cheesy but it's funny so um, I'm really excited because in my review video, which you can find in the top corner, I really, really liked these horses and I'm so excited for them. Also, pets have made their way into the global store. So when you click on the global store, um, there's now a pets tab and you can find literally every single pet to ever exist. Like, I can buy old pets without having to run around and find them, and then we can also get these running pets. I feel like there's more, but I don't know. But yeah, pets are here, and that makes it so much easier for us to grab pets. So, I originally thought that Star Stable was going to add these horses during the Christmas event, because that's what they did last year with the Frisians, but apparently not. And, you know, that's okay. That means that we can grab them before the Winter Village comes out. So, these are over by New Hillcrest. And I almost went to Moorland. That, that's, that would not be good. <laughs> I really don't know which one to get. I'm so, like, indecisive. They're, they're all so pretty. But I'm hoping that when I see one in person, I will really like it. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of people over here. I am on Poppy Moon right now, so they're actually, oh yeah, there's like literally no one over here. Plus it's early, um, so yeah. Oh, they're all so pretty. They kind of look like the Gauntlands, you know, like if you remove their fluffy hair, they kind of look like the Gauntlands. Oh, look at this one. He's brown. That's so cute. He's really dark too. Okay, so here are their little um, benefits. <laughs> um, should I read this? I'm going to try to read this as fast as possible. Iceland is a place of timeless beauty and unforgiving elements and home to one of the most hardest horse breeds. Horses arrived in Icelandic with Viking explorers and were vital to survival, earning them a lasting reference in Icelandic culture. The unforgiving climate ensures not only the strongest survived and in 982, a law was created forbidden horse imports, and any horse that left could never return. The result is a pure breed with no outside influences for over a thousand years. The millennium for isolation, forces of nature and breeding turned into the Icelandic horse into a turned the Icelandic horse into a remarkably healthy breed, strong and clever with a calmness that only comes for centuries without predators. Though pony-sized, they carry adults and pull heavy loads with ease and are considered horses. The Icelandic language doesn't even have a word for pony. The Icelandics are a gated horse with two naturally appearing special gates. The toll is a smooth and easy idea for traveling a more long distance without tiring the horse or rider wherever the flying whereas the flying pace is fast but exhausting. Suited for short races. They are an exceptionally colorful breed with nearly every color and marking, including a color that only exists in one horse family. Eller Fra Baldershaga was the first horse anywhere with a dominant white gene Y21, or not Y21, W21, which creates that word meaning speckled. Luckily, bringing the rare coat to Jorvik's Icelandics was successful. Icelandics fit their owners, ideal for work, pleasure, or competitive riding, and perfect for beginners as well as the most experienced equestrians. Breeding associations around the world give everyone the chance to ride an Icelandic, and Jorvik's breeding program has flourished in recent years. To an Icelandic horse is to have a loyal and true best friend for life, who will brave blizzards to keep you warm and carry you home when you are hopelessly lost. Oh, it's like a love story. It's a little love story. 
Oh, uh, this is the hot breed. I think this is the breed, or not the breed, the color that everyone wants. Although I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Like it's very unique and gorgeous, but I'm not a big fan of it. I love the dorsal stripe and I love its mane and tail. But like I, I, that's like not one that I would want. Same with this black and white one, just because like the black and white horses are so, you know, popular. And I think I have like a bunch of black and white horses, so I don't want to get this one either. And this one I think is a blue roan. And this one's adorable. I love him. He's so cute. Um, and I think the Icelandic will be a boy, the one that I'm getting, just because I've been like counting all of the different like female and male um, in my home stable and I have more mares than I do geldings so I want to get a gelding. I don't have any horse in this color and I love the blonde whereas his body's like dark and the shading in like just his overall tail is adorable. Although I do know that there is one in Fort Pinta that I want to check out, but like look at the dapples on this horse. And I love that they have such big feathers and their hair is so poofy. But before we come and buy one, I need to go check out the one in Fort Pinta, which I think is the... Oh goodness, I don't know what color, I don't know what to call its coat color. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Also, I would make a comparison video of the two Icelandics, but I really don't want to spend any money on buying a old generation Icelandic just because then it'll be more work. It's going to be another horse that I have to train and I really don't want to do that. So I'm only going to buy the Gen 3 and not the Gen 2, but let's go to Fort Pinta. Oh, look at this one. I don't know what to call his um, coat color, but it's so pretty. But I don't think I'm gonna get that one either. So let's go back to New Hillcrest. I literally almost forgot where where it's called. What? It, yeah. I don't know what to name that horse. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of names right now. But I think I might just come across one that I really like and just choose that one. But here's the little boy I'm gonna buy. Grimo. Can I call him Gizmo? Okay, so what is a gizmo? What does gizmo mean? A gizmo is a device used for a special job. A vacuum is a gizmo that cleans the fo floor. While gizmo often means an unknown object like a thingamajig. A gizmo is any device that gets a job done. A phone is a gizmo for talking to people. A stove is a gizmo for cooking food. Well, gizmo is gonna be my little tool, my thingamajig for everything and anything. So, Grandberg gizmo. <laughs> grand birth, grand block, grand blue. I guess we could do Grand Finder because a find something that you find with could be like a gizmo. So Grand Finder. I think we're gonna do I think we're gonna do that. Actually, no, I don't know. Grand Grand Gem. Grand Grand Gate. Grand Garnet. Grand Grand Oh, Grand Yeti! Wait, I like that! Grand Yeti! Because Icelandics are like, you know, ice and Yetis are in ice. Grand Yeti and his name will be Gizmo. Okay, we're doing that. Bam. That was like so easy to choose, you know? Oh, now we have Gizmo! Alright, let's go to my home stable so we can get Gizmo and I want to make like a I don't know what I don't know what color outfit to make with him I might just use the outfit I'm wearing already but I don't know hello gizmo oh he's so cute all right 
Let's do... All right, let's put his little... Um, let's add his horseshoe to our horseshoe collection. What? Okay, here we are. So there's Gizmo's horseshoe. Let's make an outfit with him. Now, there are actually some new bridles, I think. Yeah, there's these bridles. I don't know what kind of bridles these are. They're called, oh, they're noseband bridles. Okay. Um, well, is there a black one? Okay, I think we'll do, ooh, do we want the brown or the black? I want to get both, but I don't have enough uh, shillings for both. I think for now we'll get the black one. And then maybe when I save up some more shillings, because I'm trying not to spend so many star coins on clothing. So maybe when I get more shillings from training, because I'm really, I'm in this super training mood where I'm just like zooming through all of the training like that we can do. So yeah, um, but here is his bridle. Cute. That's adorable. Let's make a little outfit with him now. So let me do that real quick. Okay, you know what? This outfit is a mess, but it works. Okay, so we're gonna do it. And it's pretty wintry, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Alright. <laughs> I'm thinking to show off the gates, we use the um Steve's paddock, which is over here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the gates, and I really hope you enjoy. Okay, everyone, so that's the end of the gates. Now, before we end the video, let's go check on the... I'm probably going to keep Gizmo in his normal main style, but I just want to see what he looks like with all of the other ones. So we have this one, which is the braided one, and they keep the forelock with it braided, and that's actually really pretty. And I think the tail stays the same. Oh, okay, so the tail like gets darker. Next we have this one, and this is the braided mane, but the forelock is also braided and the tail is braided. And then 
We have shaved mane. So this is where his mane is completely shaved. And then we have this one, which I don't know what to call this mane style. I kind of just call it the fjord mane style because it looks like, you know, the fjord. And then we have this <laughs> poofiness which is like, I'm guessing the cut main style of its original, but like poofy. So yeah, I'm pro I'm just gonna, ch I'm just gonna keep it the way it is because I really like the floofiness of Gizmo's hair. It's absolutely adorable. And yeah, um, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you are looking forward to buy a new Icelandic, which color are you going to buy and how do you feel about the Icelandics? Do you like them? Are they interesting? And yeah, that's going to be it for that. Um, I will see you all in my next video. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!